Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen at Little Spoon Farm. Today we are going to make some sourdough pop tarts using our sourdough discard. So let's get started. Use a cheese grater to grate a stick of butter into a bowl and then add the all-purpose flour to the bowl. I like to use a fork to kind of get those butter pieces broken apart and then I use a bench scraper but you can use a pastry cutter if you uh, want to to start getting that butter and flour cut into each other. Then add the sugar and salt to the mixture and continue to cut the, um, the mixture together but again I like to use the fork to just kind of stir it up a little bit use the uh, bench scraper again and you're gonna want it to have these really coarse crumbly texture so once that is all done just add your sourdough starter and your vinegar and use the fork again to start to get the liquid incorporated with the flour and butter mixture this will take a minute or so but just be patient and and, and keep stirring it until you really can't get it mixed together anymore. And then you're gonna to switch to your hands. And I like to take and squeeze the mixture and just kind of get that pressed together until the flour starts to come together and there's no more dry bits. I do use a 100% hydration starter, which is equal parts water and flour. So the way that I have it measured out with this King Arthur all-purpose flour, I don't need any extra moisture, but if you find that you can't get it to come together, you can add a teaspoon of ice water to help add a little bit of moisture, but don't add too much because you don't want it to be wet dough. You just want it to come together. And you can see all the dry bits are starting to kind of incorporate and stick to the dough. So you want to try to uh, bring the dough together with your hands and then you're going to take a piece of plastic wrap and we're going to take this uh, ball of dough and we're going to shape it into more of a rectangular shape. This is going to help when we roll the dough out to give us that nice uh, rectangle shape instead of the circle that would be harder for us to roll it out in order to cut the pop tarts out so then take the plastic wrap and just kind of use it to you know pull this dough together and help shape it into that rectangle shape and then once you feel like you've got it you know good enough together you're going to take the plastic wrap and wrap this up we're going to let this chill for for a little bit in the fridge at least an hour or two. You can let it chill for up to 24 hours. But before you do, take the rolling pin and roll this and smooth it out. And this is gonna help smooth and flatten out the edges so that when you go to roll it out later, um, it won't break apart at the edges. So go ahead and stick that in the fridge. And then when you are ready to make your pop tarts, you're gonna roll this out into a, a rectangle shape. And you're aiming for a 1 8 inch thickness, which is what we usually roll our pie crust into. And don't be afraid to use some flour to keep it from sticking to the work surface. This is made of you know, just butter, so it will tend to get a little soft as you're working with it. So go ahead and flour and just make sure it's not sticking. So once you have this, you know, in a, in a rectangular shape, you can use a pizza cutter like I'm doing here and just trim the edges to where they're straight you don't have to do this but I wanted mine to actually look like a pop-tart so I wanted the edges to be really straight 
but you don't have to do this if you don't care what they look like. They'll still taste really delicious, I promise. And those scraps uh, can be rolled together to make another Pop-Tart. So once you have this rolled out and trimmed up, um, I like to give it a little bit more flour so that it doesn't stick to the board. You can see I'm actually turning it over so I know that when I go to transfer those that they won't stick. So I use that pizza cutter again and I'm kind of eyeballing the middle here. And you just cut this into four equal strips. Take a, uh, an egg and lightly beat it and then you're going to use this as an egg wash. This is going to help seal the edges when you press them and keep the filling from coming out. So now it's just up to you to pick your favorite flavor. I love strawberry so I'm using my strawberry jam, my homemade strawberry jam. And you want to put about you know, two tablespoons on each one, and you wanna make sure that you have room around the edges to where you can press the dough together. For this Pop-Tart, I used homemade Nutella, and now I am making a peanut butter and jelly, because one of my daughters, that's her favorite. And strawberry is my favorite, so I'm just gonna make two strawberries. But you can really fill this with just about any jam that you like. So with each one of these, you're going to fold it over and press the edges with your fingers to help seal and keep that filling on the inside. And I forgot to mention, you want your oven at this point to be preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and line a baking sheet with parchment paper. I am trimming these edges again you do not have to do this um, I wanted to make sure these actually look like pop tarts for you guys so I'm making these edges really straight don't worry I'm using this dough for an extra pop tart <laughs> so use a fork to uh, press and seal the edges this will give it that classic pop tart look and then I'm using like this really thin spatula to help lift it up and put it on that parchment paper so this recipe makes four to five pop tarts with that extra dough you see there so arrange these on your baking sheet space a little bit apart and then you're gonna use that egg wash to brush the top of each of these and that's going to give us this really golden shiny crust after they're baked so you're going to put this in the oven and bake them for 25 to 30 minutes with my oven i usually need 30 or until they are golden brown and when they're finished take them off and put them on a uh, transfer them to a cooling rack and go ahead and mix the powdered sugar and water together for the glaze and you want it to be kind of thick and all you do is just spoon that over the top of each Pop-Tart. If your Pop-Tarts are warm or hot at this point, that is going to, you know, melt and drizzle over the sides. So depending on what you're going for, you may want to wait until they're totally cool. But you can sprinkle these with sprinkles. Um, I didn't have any sprinkles on hand, so I just used some coarse sugar because I want that texture on top. But that's it. That's how easy it is to make these Pop-Tarts. They are delicious uh, and the, the possibility of fillings are endless. So I really hope you like this video and that you uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it and go ahead and subscribe for more sourdough recipes. Until next time, bye!